What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and Twitter. Uh, I thought I would move on to a bit more of a fun topic rather than the dry topics of, uh, of Microsoft applications, if you do find that a little dry, uh, and I thought I'd talk a little bit about Twitter automation. Um, the Twitter automation stuff allows you to do a bunch of things inside Power Automate and automating those processes. It's really handy, it's really cool. You can tweet out um, from like, events. Uh, if you're doing a demo, you can live tweet out certain things at certain times. So it's really cool, it's really powerful. And I'm going to go through um, all the Twitter triggers and actions in the next few videos so you can see what all those are about. So let's start from the beginning and let's start with the Twitter trigger. So the Twitter trigger is when a new tweet is posted. And let's take a look at that today. So I'm in Power Automate. I have a flow already set up and saved. And in the um, triggers, I can type in uh, Twitter. And we can see there's only a single uh, Twitter action or Twitter trigger here, which is when a new tweet is posted. And then from here, we have to enter some search text. So this is the only thing that is required. Um, so at the moment, what this will do is this will um, trigger and then we're going to look for something or it's going to trigger when it's looking for something. So we can have things like, um, you know, as, as this suggests, happy hour inside a bracket. So try to look for those two words together uh, inside a tweet and then pull that through. We can look for hashtags. So the example here is hashtag haiku. haiku. Um, we can look at um, usernames, so like from at username, and that'll give you something. Or just searching for a generic word, love or hate, and you can pull all that through. You can also actually search for like replies. So if, if you want to search for a reply to someone, uh, or if someone's going to reply to you, you can just um, put in the username, the at such and such, um, and then have that come through. So what we're going to do in this example is we're going to choose my Twitter handle. So if you don't know already, there's no excuse now. I'm going to write it on the screen. You should go and follow me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter handle is at D365Geek, which is all good. However, if I, if I started a flow with that, what that will do is that will actually find any of the tweets that are tweeted where that d365 geek handle is inside of that tweet so that's not actually going to find anything that i post that's going to find any posts with that in the the tweet message so to find things from a specific user you can use from colon and then the username what that will do instead is that will look at that user and then when that user tweets something it'll give you that details so you could set this up if you um if you know you're doing something at a, um, a particular event, so we just had uh, MS Build, um, and we just had uh, you know all, all the different Microsoft events, was Twitter handles. The hashtag for MS Build was uh, hashtag MS Build, um, and you could uh, you know, put that into here, and then you could just collate all those tweets that come in through and store them somewhere or do something with them. So there's loads of different um, ideas for using this, but what we're just trying to show today is how we can trigger this. So using this from and then colon and then the username allows me to get everything that's tweeted from my user at the same time you could just use uh, any sort of search text you wanted so after this we're just going to put in a compose action uh, compose and we'll wait for this to uh, catch up uh, or we'll delete it and we'll re-add it maybe uh, I'm just trying to build in. No, are we just having a moment to date? Come on. There we go. Uh, so we use uh, data operations compose. And in the inputs, what we're going to choose is we're going to choose tweet text. So we're just trying to get that, tw that Twitter text. And as you can see from the list, there's quite, an, uh, quite a number of things you can get here. Um, user details, original tweet, um, item, uh, tweeted by, media URLs, etc. Uh, tweet ID. So there's loads of different things that we can um, get from uh, from Twitter in the direct content. All I choose for now is just that uh, just that tweet text. So we're going to test this out, and I'll send out a test tweet. So we'll hit save and test. Then we'll flick over to my other window. Let's click tweet, uh, and we'll go. Uh, what's up? Everyone, what are we doing tonight? Uh, what's up, everyone? There we go, just a round spell. 
uh, hashtag uh, PA um, uh, video demos. Uh, create my own hashtag. So uh, click on tweet. And then that's sent. And if we flick back to my window, um, what we will do is we'll need to wait a couple of minutes for this to run through. So sometimes this isn't instantaneous, which is what this will be doing is this is going off and this is polling, um, polling Twitter uh, and then bringing back responses periodically. So as I've been talking, it's, it's now run that. Um, although, as I've tried to mention in some other previous videos, I have had an issue with... Uh, with Power Automate today where it's not um, rendering things properly at that load screen. So I just went back and found this run. So we can see the from at D365 gate, we can see the time, we can see all this all this content uh, that we've got in here. So the tweet text, tweet ID, um, the, the you know details about my user, etc. And then we can see in the compose action, we've got that Twitter text that we put in there. So this is a really handy way to either search um, Twitter like for a period of time uh, for certain tweets with certain things in it, or to uh, look at certain users or, or look at certain hashtags. Um, I know a friend of mine, um, she set up a, a hashtag so that when um, when she would tweet something or retweet something with that hashtag, it would go into one of her lists um, in to do. So she could um, go back and read that uh, article or, or go back and visit that tweet um, and then cancel that off, which I thought was a really handy way. The only problem is when people figure out that's what you're doing, they then tend to spam you with the hashtags, which is a really uncool thing to do. But uh, I thought it was a really cool use of, use of stuff like this. Um, I would be very cautious of using triggers like this. Um, this trigger will keep on triggering all the time unless you turn it off. Um, so you do need to make sure you don't run through um, you know, all your credits in Microsoft uh, for, for Power Automate. You because there are, you know, you could have, if you use a very generic word, it's going to look through all Twitter and just keep on firing, keep on firing, and keep on firing. So um, it is very important to to not um, not do that. So, yeah, uh, let me know uh, what you think about this. Do you use this at the moment? Um, do you not use this? Is there any other um, triggers you would like to see uh, added to Power Automate for Twitter? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, it'd be much appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.